Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sirazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about voltage and current graphs for different components, such as the filament bulb and the diode. Right, so let's say we have a filament bulb here, and I ask you to investigate the current and voltage of that filament bulb. First of all, you've got to place it into a circuit. So let's put it into a circuit. So we're going to have our circuit, but we need a power supply. Here we go. We need a variable resistor. I also need the component, so here is the bulb over here. And I also need an ammeter to measure the current. Okay, so once again, so we've got the power supply. This is the variable resistor. And we've got the bulb and the ammeter. They're all in series with one another. Now, to connect a voltmeter, I need to put it around the component I'm looking at. So it's going around the bulb over here. So here is the voltmeter right now. So if I do this for this, the filament bulb, I end up with the following graph. So the graph looks like this. Here we go. Right, so what does that actually mean? You can clearly see that current starts to level off. In the GCSC, you've got to talk about why do you think the current starts to level off. The reason why the current starts to level off is because the resistance is increasing. So the reason why, let put it down, so the current levels off here, so the current levels off. The reason why it levels off is because the resist as the resistance has increased. So the current levels off as the resistance has increased. Right, so why has the resistance increased? Think about a light bulb. When you use it, what happens to it? It heats up. So the reason why the resistance has increased is because it has heated up. So this is due to the bulb heating up. So from the top, if I gave you a filament bulb and I asked you to measure the voltage and current of it, you set up in the following circuit and you will obtain the following graph. Always remember that S shape for the filament bulb. The reason why the current stops increasing after a while is because the resistance increases as the bulb heats up. And obviously, as resistance increases, the current can't stop increasing. Now it has to stop increasing. Right, so let's scroll down a bit. So a diode, the next one is going to be a diode. So we've done a filament bulb right now. Yes, that's a filament bulb. Then if we go for a diode, so first of all, what is a diode? A diode is simply a component which lets the current flow through it in a particular direction. So the diode lets current flow through it in only one direction. So it actually matters which way you connect the diode in your circuit. If you put the diode the wrong way around, your circuit might not work. Right, so there are different symbols for a diode. This one is, but both of these are diodes. So this is a diode, both of these are diodes by itself. And these ones are slightly different. As you can see, there's lights coming out of them. So these are going to be called light emitting diodes. So light is coming out of those ones. As you can clearly see, they've got little arrows showing you light is coming out. Right, so how, why does it actually matter? We can look at the following circuit. So look at the circuit in red. We can see that the current right now will go out of the long stick, will come out this way, travel all the way down, split, and then try and go through those both branches. But which bulb will light up? So let's put that down. Which bulb will light up? It's something about the orientation of the diode. So right now we can see, is it the first bulb? Let's put this one, is it number one or is it number two? We can clearly see that the first bulb will light up. So this one, tick, it will flash. So the first bulb will light up. The reason why, look at the orientation of the diode. The diode is in the same direction as the current flow. It almost lets it through. They're both in the same direction. So the diode and the current are in the same direction. Therefore, it can pass through. But what about the other one? We can clearly see that the current and the diode are opposing one another. So look, the other one, you can see that triangle is against the other, the green little uh, current direction. They're against each other, therefore the current won't flow through that direction. 
So this one will not work. So this one will not light up. So not work. Oh dear. Happy with that? So the diode will only let current flow it in a particular direction or only one direction. And we can clearly see if I connect it into a circuit the wrong way around, it will either light up the bulb or not. So now scrolling down, if I want to investigate the voltage and current of a diode, I've got to also put it into the similar circuit as before. So I need the power supply. I also need the ammeter. I also need the variable resistor. Let's put the variable resistor here. Still a variable resistor. I also need the diode. There we go. So they're still in series, yes? Similar to the diagram before. We've got the variable resistor, the diode, and the ammeter all in series. Now I'm going to put the voltmeter around the diode. Happy with this? What kind of graph do we get? We will find that we get the following graph. From this experiment, we get the following graph. It will be almost zero in one direction, and then, bang, it starts to go up. So this is the VI graph for a diode. So for a diode, we'll result in this kind of graph. What does that mean? That means that the current can only flow in a particular direction when the voltage is in this direction. And it means that over here, I'm getting zero current. Zero current. How am I going to get zero current? It must have a very high resistance in this direction. So, once again, this is the VI graph for a diode. You can see it goes straight, then goes up. And the reason why there's no current in a particular direction is because it has a very high resistance. Okay, so that's the voltage current characteristics of a diode. Summary. So let's do a little summary for this bit so far. So we've got three graphs. First one looks like this. Second one looks like this. Next one looks like this. So this one is for the fixed resistor. Yes, this one is for the filament bulb. Yes, this one is going to be for the diode. So this is for the diode, filament bulb. This one's going to be for the fixed resistor. So we've learnt that in a filament lamp, the reason why the current level is off is due to the fact that the resistance has increased because the bulb has heated up. A diode is a component which lets the current flow through it in only one direction only. As you can see, it goes straight and goes up. The reason why there is no current in a particular direction in the diode over here, in the diode, is because it has a very high resistance in that direction. And that's it for another session with me. Uh, make sure you can identify those three graphs because they, con they tell you which component they're talking about just by those graphs itself. And that's it, guys. We shall see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.